All right, y'all. Today I'm going to explain to y'all why I do not and will not ever use Dermesa beetles to do skull mounts again. Stay tuned. Morning, everybody. Another day in the shop. Uh, <clears throat> I actually took a vacation day <laughs> today from my real job and um, taking an opportunity to get caught up on some taxidermy stuff. It's that time of year. Um, mainly getting caught up today, uh, so we'll have the weekend off to. Um, we're gonna do some Christmas stuff with the kids and do some Christmas shopping uh, while the kids stay the night with in-laws, that kind of stuff. But more to the point of the video, uh, let's talk about dermestid beetles. Uh, I've got some older videos. Um, I did uh, experiment with beetles for about a year, and I kind of documented all that in um, some videos. And people still go back and watch those videos, and they assume that I still they don't watch any current videos, and they assume that I still use beetles, and I don't. Um, and I'm going to tell y'all the two or three top reasons why I don't. Um, not knocking anybody. If you use them, that's great. More power to you. They're just not for me. So, but before we get into that, I got to get uh, some heads in those pots back there and get that water boiling. Uh, I've got about I don't know ten or twelve deer heads to work on and then um, some pigs and stuff. So I'm going to get all these loaded in here and then we'll talk some more. questions about older videos that I made on doing dermestid beetles. So let me first explain to you how I started to use them and I'm going to explain to you what I learned and why I don't use them anymore. Uh, first, uh, I, I thought about getting them for a long time and just never really got around to ordering them. Had a lady drop off a very old deadhead water buffalo that she wanted me to work on. Just clean it up, get the horn sheets off, that kind of stuff. It was a, a piece for uh, to take to schools for kids to, to look at and stuff. Uh, found like five or six domestic beetles within the horn sheaths of this very old, I mean, there was, it was all bone. There was no, no meat left, but uh, uh, found them in the horn sheaths, took them, put them in a little Tupperware container, uh, started giving them little specks of meat. Uh, quickly, they got, they, you know, uh, expanded, put them in a bigger Tupperware container, and then before I know it, um, I've got you know a couple chest freezers that I've, I made videos on how I set them all up and I had a couple colonies of beetles um, so this was just an experiment uh, I was still boiling heads when I was doing that um, still macerating heads doing what you know pretty much what I do now uh, but it was just an experiment uh, one the, the, the well the first and second reason are tied but uh, one of the reasons do not use them is the size of my shop. This is a 15 by 15 shop. Uh, my little shed I have next door that I showed y'all just a second ago that has all the deer heads in it, that's like a 10 by 12. Um, I, have, I do not have a lot of real estate to operate on. Uh, I hope to build a bigger shop sometime in the future, but having two or three, four uh, beetle tanks in here, and then also having um, degreasing tanks, and then having uh, you know room to store heads and stuff like that, it's just, um, yeah, I just don't have the room for it. That's that's the number one reason, and then the second reason is tied with that reason, and it is because of the degreasing. Degreasing is a absolute pain when you use beetles, and the reason is, is because those beetles remove the flesh, and they don't remove any of the fat. It all stays in that bone, and then you have to degrease it over a long period of time, uh, you know, months and months and months in most cases to pull that grease out of there. And having, you know, I, I've got videos on a small degreasing tank I set up, uh, that doesn't even scratch the surface of what you would need. Some guys use large, gigantic water troughs that they heat up, and, you know, I just don't have room for that. And it's just a pain, and it takes too much time. Um, those are the two main reasons. 
Uh, other reasons are beetles stop working. They just, you, they're very high maintenance. You have to have uh, the humidity correct. You have to have the temperature, you know, good. And um, if you don't, um, they can stop eating or they just stop eating for no reason. Another thing they get is mites. Um, and when they get those, you, you know, a lot of times you have to just do away with the whole colony and start over again. Um, so very high maintenance. Um, um, another another issue that I didn't just now thought of is uh, moisture in your degreasing tanks. Uh, this little shop, you come in here to be water just dripping from the ceiling from the moisture. So you gotta have ventilation to get the mo to get the uh, moisture out of your area. I, I talked to a guy a long time ago who was doing it in his basement, had mold growing in there and stuff. You don't want that either. So I would recommend, uh, and, and what I do is if you're wanting something, uh, a lot of people use beetles and they say it's you know museum quality I mean I guess uh, also maceration is museum quality as well uh, if you macerate ahead and then then degrease it uh, you, you've got essentially the same thing happening um, but you're just letting bacteria remove the flesh versus using beetles to remove the flesh if I'm <clears throat> doing a really greasy animal or an animal that somebody's really particular about that doesn't want it uh, you know, once it very much intact when they're done, um, I will macerate it. Uh, three of the heads you saw out there, uh, four or five, two pig heads, and then there was a pot that had three deer heads in it. Those were all macerated in a maceration tank. I have a video on it. Uh, look on my taxonomy playlist. Uh, but those are all macerated uh, pigs because they were uh, very greasy, and the deer because they wanted them very much intact. Uh, so I'm not going to get into maceration right now, but that's what I do in place of beetles. Um, but I just want to put this video out there. Like I said, I get a lot of questions still about beetles, and I don't—I have not used beetles in years, four years now, five years, and I only used them for about a year, and it was just an experiment I wanted to document with videos, and uh, I wanted to put this out there so people know that I don't use them anymore. Um, I'm not against them. I got—I got friends, a uh, few friends across the country that use them and they have very large shops and they do way more deer heads than I do and they're very successful with them and I support them and more power to them. That's just not for me and that's not what works for my setup and my uh, turnaround time for the customers I have. Uh, the processor that we work for, you know, if we were getting heads back to them, you know, you know, six, eight months later, that would not work for them. Uh, we have to get them back to them very quickly uh, because they're only seasonally open just like we are. Um, so that's another reason, just the time frame. Uh, you know, uh, when it comes to uh, you know boiling or even the accelerated maceration process I use, I can turn heads around. You know, within a month, uh, when we're even when we're super busy, uh, sometimes less than that. Um, you know, like I said, beetles it's gonna take months and months and months. Uh, so uh, to anybody out there that's trying to get started doing this, if you if you, if you see this. Go back and watch my channel, uh, watch my taxidermy playlist on our YouTube channel. Lots of great videos on there, um, lots of information. A lot of the questions I get asked have already been answered in videos and I don't, I, this time of year I get six or eight, 10 messages a day asking questions from people watching my videos and I don't always have time to answer all of them, I try. Um, but go back and watch all the videos, you know, start in the beginning and, and, and we've progressed and, and changed things and. It's always evolving to something hopefully better. Um, so just don't want to, uh, I just hate that people have to watch the old videos and assume that's still how we do it, because that's not how we do it. We change things a lot. Um, we have videos on our whitening process. I have videos on how I macerate, different ways to macerate. Uh, a, lot, a lot of the stuff on business side of it, if you want to start a business, things like that. Um, if you do have any questions, leave them in the comments. Try to shoot me a message. If I don't answer right away, you know, I'll, I'll do my best uh, to, to get an answer as soon as I can. You guys, I hope this video explains some stuff for y'all. Um, you know, when I started using beetles, I kind of thought, yeah, they're going to do all the work and I'm going to make all the money and it's going to be great. And just like with a lot of things, when you have, you know, expectations, they don't really happen. And, uh, you know, it, it's a lot, there's a lot more to it than that. It's a lot of room, a lot of real estate, a lot of time, a lot of uh, finicky uh, little beetles that you can't control. Um, and, and it's just not for me in my setup. Um, tell me your story, um, what you're using, how you're doing it. Are you doing it full time, uh, like, like, a, like a business, part time like I am? Are you just doing it for yourself and your buddies? 
uh, let me know what y'all are doing. I encourage y'all to to experiment. Uh, you know, one of the best things you can do to experiment is shoot your own animals. Um, you know, if you shoot a doe and, and you have the time and the, the means to, you know, try different processes on, on it. Shoot a couple animals to save them up. Try to macerate one. Try to, um, you know, simmer boil one and power wash it. Try to, you know, if you have the means to do beetles, try that. Um, ask a lot of questions. Uh, check around. And, and make sure your, your setup is going to work uh, uh, for you. But just do some do some experimenting. Uh, do, do do a lot of investigating. Ask questions. I, I encourage that. Um, hopefully, I can help. Um, I just encourage y'all. You know, to, to th this little side business has been a very uh, very big blessing to me and my family. Uh, this time of year, it's, it takes a lot of time from all the family and a lot of commitment. Um, but it, at the same time, it allows us to do things that we wouldn't be able to do uh, otherwise if we didn't have it. So very thankful for it and, and uh, turned it into something that we, we were very proud of and, and have worked really hard to accomplish. And, and if that's your goal, um, I hope that happens for you. And if I can help, I would love to help. I, I'm, um, you know, everything I've, 80 percent, 90 percent of what I know, I've taught myself and learned just trial and error. Um, I'm not, I, I don't like to, uh, I'm not going to spoon feed somebody every little thing. But I'll definitely, you know, help point you in the right direction and, and uh, you know, try, try to, you know, help the learning curve a little bit. So uh, hit me with questions if you got them. All right, guys, I'm just rambling now. Uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, please like, um, subscribe. It just helps our channel. We appreciate it. Um, and we'll see you all again.